Okay, so I wanted to go over some of the reasons why AP junglers are just not viable for competitive play right now. For one thing, if you look at Runeglaive, the item is just not good enough when compared to other items. Uh, they increase the total cost from 2,250 to 2,675. They change the build path to Sheen and Amplifying Town. Uh, the ability power was decreased. The only aspect of the rune glaive that was increased is the mana which you know is irrelevant for early game since you're going to have blue buff anyway most likely so if you look at that build path you, you one of the early components is a mana crystal well you don't need that mana crystal if you're going to have blue buff in the early game so if it's sitting in your inventory you've got wasted stats that you know in the past would have been a better stat. It could have been ability power, it could have been cooldown reduction, now it's got mana. Also, because the item builds out of Sheen, and there's nothing like Magus for non-auto attacking junglers right now, you're wasting a stat. The proc ability for junglers like Fiddlesticks and other non-auto attacking junglers is going to be wasted. So they really need some type of item possibly like Magus for these non-AP auto-attacking junglers to use. Another major issue is the overall increase in AP item cost. If you look at the items, Landry's Torment increased by 200, Haunting Guys increased by 100, Morella Namicon increased by 250, Rylai's increased by 200, Void Staff increased by 150, Hourglass increased by 200, Archangel Staff increased by 100, Rod of Ages increased by 300, yeah. and Lich Bane was even increased, which is just a better version of Runeglaive. So the issue here is how are AP junglers able to afford these items? How are you going to be powerful enough to gank lanes to compete with other lanes or even the opposing AD jungle in the later game. So what can Riot do to fix the issue? The first option is to add another uh, choice for AP junglers. You could bring something back like Magus. If you think it's too powerful, you could change the stats. You could just modify the numbers to have less of an effect. Another option is make Runeglaive better. You could increase the stats, you could reduce the cost, maybe you completely rework the item. The issue here is that Runeglaive may become too powerful and laners would start buying the item, which would completely negate the point of Lich Bane, so this is probably not the best path. Or you could just reduce the cost of AP items. This would make APs altogether more powerful though, so mid laners or AP tops would be stronger in the late game. Riot probably doesn't want this. It seems like the best option is just to add some type of item like Magus for the jungle. AP jungles just need help. They just need some stats. If you look, none of the junglers, AP junglers, have a positive win ratio right now. All of them are below 50%. So, it does seem like an issue. It seems like it's hurting variety in the jungle. It's hurting the distribution of damage and team compositions. If your jungle is always AD and your lanes pick AD, then you're gonna have a lack of AP damage. So I think it's a real issue for them to consider. It also just has less gameplay variety for junglers right now. They're limited in their options. Either they've got to tank or they've got to be AD and just allowing players to have options, allowing teams to have AP damage, opening up more champions for the competitive scene. They all seem like good points that Riot should address by fixing this issue. If you can think of any ways to fix this issue that I didn't cover, maybe I forgot something, maybe I never thought of it, feel free to let me know in the comments or hit me on Twitter. So there's also going to be a contest coming up for the community to redesign Yorick and Warwick. Since they've kind of been left behind right now, I thought it'd be interesting to see what kind of kits the community could come up with to update them. That contest should be the next release coming out on Wednesday. So there's going to be prizes for the redesign of each champion. 
So be sure to go to lol.arenaonline.com and check that out.